Good evening, everyone. I welcome you all on behalf of uh, Center for Capital Markets and Risk Management at IIM Bangalore. In this uncertain economic environment and uh, rising inflation, uh, we should be thinking of an asset class uh, that can act as an inflation hedge. So commodities as an asset class is ideal for a portfolio diversification. Now, CCMRM tries to bring uh, industry professionals with uh, first-hand knowledge on various investment products and, of course, various asset classes. So today we have with us our uh, guest speaker, Mr. Anjan Kumar G, a professional working with multi-commodity exchange, also known as uh, MCX. He has over eight years of uh, experience in the financial markets. Now, he will help us answer some of our common doubts and questions like, uh, is there any way to benefit from uh, inflation? Are derivatives only for speculators? How to use hedging? How can you know me and you do this? Right. So please feel free to type your questions in the chat box and it will be answered uh, by the uh, uh, by the speaker, Mr. Anjan Kumar. Without further ado, I will request Mr. Anjan to take over and help us delve deeper into commodities. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the one brief introduction, ma'am. So yeah, myself already you know my name, so Anjan. So if let's start the session. Let's not waste our time. Okay. So before starting the session, a small disclaimer, whatever things we are discussing here, it's for educational purpose, okay? So, and when we discuss about the commodities, let us uh, let me go with the, like a presentation flow, how it goes today, okay? First, let's try to understand what is commodities. That is our main topic, right, today. So let's discuss an overview, what is commodities, why commodities? So even though if I'm not investing into commodities, still why I should track commodities? As rightly said, ma'am, there is a, like in today's world, we are like a seeing inflation, inflation. So what is the main reason? So let's Let's uh, discuss that part also. And what are the factors? Some factors will affect everything, right? In the like commodity prices also. Let's see some factors. What are the factors impacting the commodity prices? And in which all the commodities I can participate or we can participate. So let's see those things. Okay. So and after that settlement procedure. Uh, settlement procedure why i made like i highlighted this uh, uh topic I mean like uh in equities we know and equities it's a cash settled or like uh, for example in derivatives on last trading day so it will be cash settled okay so how in commodities it is not cash settled most of the commodities are delivery based i mean for example if you're like uh, dealing in gold okay if you bought gold yes you can take physical gold also suppose if you are a buyer you can take gold if you are a seller you can give gold also you can give physical gold delivery so the how it works settlement procedure so let's uh when look into that part and finally let's see like a what are the basic do's and don'ts when we participate in commodity exchange we should be aware it's not only on uh i mean the thing what like um Oh, uh, in equities and commodities also it is okay yes we should be uh, taking off like uh, what is happening in do's and those what we should not do in like in markets let's see that one also okay so let's start the session okay so when i see the financial markets there are low various financial markets right okay so first thing we know that is capital market so everyone's favorite kid again okay so that is equities okay so company wants funds like to expand their business and all so what they do like they raise funds from you right the cavity raise capital from you people and they do, do the business so that comes to capital market what is that market everywhere we know that it's a for example example i can give you is like a bonds or debentures basically a long-term loan financial instruments those comes under like a debt market i can say right like this right so similarly there is a forex market what is forex market again currencies okay so we have seen in india like a, we can trade like a usd INR, jpy INR, or gbp INR, all these things comes under forex market where corporates usually or importers exporter basically they'll be dealing a much in forex market then there is a money market is also there so money market like a, i can give again example uh, is like a T bills or certificate of deposit. So basically, a financial instrument which has less than 
one year i can say those financial instruments comes under money market right so again so there is another one market that is commodity market right so before understanding commodity market so let's understand what is commodity so just think on your view what means the commodities okay so what is commodities like when i say like equities yes we know the shares like np or wipro or icc bank whichever it is so when i say commodity what is commodity a commodity can be anything so if that is the case sir is laptop is a commodity yes a laptop is a commodity a mobile is a commodity yes i can say like a mobile is a commodity a commodity can be anything okay so commodities can be anything okay broadly like oh, it's been classified to like two main groups that is agri commodities and non agri commodities in under agri commodities i can say like oh, i mean what are agri commodities example is i can say coffee a corn is a or soya bean cotton these are all agri commodities and what is non agri commodities the word is self explanatory right so it might be gold or silver so even like i can say steel so these are comes under non agri commodities okay so basically it is very easy to understand why because whatever in front of our eyes whatever things we see like all the like uh, things and all so it's all commodities so that's why we say commodities is very easy to understand also and another one thing i can say is so these commodities whatever is there, whatever is there there is a positive correlation with inflation why so inflation meaning so we all know that is increase in the price of goods and services right so increase in the price of goods and services when the price of the goods and services increases obviously inflation also will rise so here it means when the commodity prices all the commodity prices increases so automatically there is a inflation is also going up so that's why we say there is a positive correlation with inflation this commodity is about and why i should track commodities okay basically it affects us indirectly right when i say like uh, equity suppose let's say like i have not bought any shares okay i have not bought any equity market single shares i have not invested if tomorrow market like uh, fell down by like a thousand points it is not going to affect me right similar but in this case let's say oh crude oil okay so tomorrow there is a like a 10 15 percent surge in crude oil prices so is it going to affect me yes indirectly it is going to affect me how so i travel by a road like a daily mile to my office and all or wherever i go so i buy it i, I travel by a road bus or over like a, when the crude oil prices goes so obviously petrol prices go so indirectly it is affecting me not only on my transportation when crude oil prices goes up all other products or all, all other like a commodities also for example in karnataka we are one of the major growers of coffee okay so how coffee will be transported to like a to jammu till like a it will be like a transport via road so when crude oil prices goes up obviously even the growers also will rise the coffee prices because travel whatever the expenses is there it will be like our search right so that's why when crude oil prices goes up indirectly all the commodity prices also there's a chances it can go up so that's why it is very important to know what is happening in commodity market it's not only on crude you take anything okay so if you can take anything so for example who are growing is what okay russia is a major producer of energy again sri lanka is one of the major producer of tea if something happens in sri lanka again so it affects on tea prices and tea is also a commodity right tea leaves is also so that is why it is very important to know look at one way what is happening in commodity markets and you know, like oh, commodity prices this manipulation manipulating this commodity prices is a bit very difficult okay why uh like i can give you an example okay so for like, let's say like we take an example of gold okay so do you think like uh, only indians love gold okay yeah and i agree on that but like a uh, we indians love gold okay no doubt in that that doesn't mean like a uh, china doesn't want gold or us doesn't want gold so everyone wants gold so when it is when the commodity is internationally traded the chances of manipulation is very very low so i can support it in this way right so, so, so similarly again whichever the commodity you take 
okay it will be always in positive trend so i'll give again an example okay we we are sitting on chair right now right so suppose for example uh if the chair like we are sitting on the chair is costing thousand rupees do you think after three years it will be the same price no right so it will be at least thousand two hundred or thousand three hundred rupees so basically what i'm trying to say is in long run whichever the commodity you take so the prices will be going in up trend and uh, one of the best way to diversify a portfolio also okay so basically like uh, we invest in like a uh, debt funds so for example we indians like a uh, most of our like uh, in household like uh, our parents have invested in fts right that is a debt instrument and now anxious everyone like uh, are like uh, jumping into equities capital markets so money market also earlier institutions used to play now even retailers also can participate so uh, in commodity market most of the retailers were not not aware now people are trying to invest in commodities also it's it is also one of the best way to diversify our portfolio so this is why like you should be knowing what is commodity why commodities and all and if we look into why commodity market is required we got to know now what is commodity why commodities and if you want to like uh, see like uh, how this commodity markets evolved I mean we have to go back to ancient times see like a commodity market like it's not started like a uh, uh, 10 years or 20 years back it started from ancient times okay first what used to be happened like a uh, barter system was there okay i i i grow like 100 kg of rice okay in exchange to that like uh, i exchange with like a uh, 50 kg of pulses or some other things right over a period of time what happened like a uh, people started who exchange with gold coins right in terms of the same weightage or like whatever it is they started to exchange in gold coins and later on like a later on we evolved so then paper currencies like our currencies started right so over a period of time what happens i grow here 100 kg let's say i'm in a remote location okay i grow 100 kg of rice here and i cannot find buyer here itself right in remote area so i have to go to town or city where the apmz yard is there so i have to travel till there so over a period what happens like oh people started like when finding the buyer became a bit difficult so that's why what farmers did like uh, when i started growing today okay so for example i'm growing 100 kgs of rice today i mean if i started today only i'll go to market okay i'll find some buyer okay and i'll make a deal with them okay saying that like a boss after three months i'll come to you okay and i'll give you 100 kgs of rice and we'll fix the price for today okay Let, let's say today the price of per kg of rice is 50 rupees okay so on the day i'll come with like 100 kgs of rice so and uh, per kg 50 rupees we have made it till so i'll give you so on that day you give me a funds okay so this is the contract like a farmers did okay so over a period what happened like a volatility change in like prices started impacting these commodity prices so over a period what happened again so i i made a deal today after three months what if the commodity that rice prices if it goes to like a or let's say like a, it comes down to like a 30 rupees okay do you think that buyer will buy rice from me no why because similar to the same quality and all in market it is available at 30 rupees why that buyer is going to buy at 50 rupees from me okay by paying premium 50 20 rupees extra he'll he won't right so there is a chances of default risk similarly even myself i am also like a uh, the same risk okay associated how like a, what if the price of the uh, rice goes up to like a 80 rupees do you think i'm going to sell to that buyer no in cover like in market like it's the price is at 80 rupees now so i'm going to default him like i'm going to sell to another party so this was happening this uh, there was a counterparty risk okay and we call this uh, like agreement or like uh, this whatever the deal happened it is called the forward market okay so that's why we came like a futures like a what we made is as exchanges and all bms we made a guaranteed settlement and everything in forward market was customized right so now here what happened everything in exchange everything got standardized in terms of like a time or like a quantity quality everything got standardized okay because you have to like enter in this time only okay so this is the quality okay this is the quantity minimum of 100 kgs you cannot make a deal of one or three kgs or one or five kgs if it is 100 kgs multiple to this like oh, you have you can enter 
okay so this is how like a v exchanges v emerge okay so and who are all there in this ecosystem if you see so there are farmers corporates wholesalers importers exporters warehouse also is there why warehouse i told you right in the initial stage like uh, whatever the commodities is the most of the commodities uh you can take delivery let's say like uh, aluminium yes you can give delivery and also you can take delivery okay so for that like a uh, warehouse of that and quality check team is the why quality checking team again i told you right whatever the like uh, i mean deposits we accept before like accepting this deposit we verify it we do quality checking only if the quality got like a i mean uh, whatever is there like if it is satisfied then only we accept those commodities for example gold petal so one gram is also traded in exchange so it should be 999 purity gold one kg 995 purity so these are the standards we have set for already okay so that's why there is a quality checking team also and if you go through in commodities like even you have or the problem main thing the risk is price so like the price is always volatile right so price will be not it will be more stable so even like you will be not having any experience that gold do you, have you seen like a gold prices are stable for three months not even for three weeks also right so always gold prices will be volatile not only gold even you take any commodities even even onion prices also today it is not stable for not even a week so if they like uh, today if it is costing like a uh, 30 rupees per kg we don't know in next week it will be or even tomorrow also it will go up by like a uh, 40 rupees or 50 rupees also right so these the risk is associated in this thing okay and this risk are like various scenarios it might be for different reasons like these prices like will be affected what are those some factors okay if you see the first thing i can see is the price ruling in the international market for example energy that is crude or energy so that is one thing i can say so and again forex threads so for is again usd if the usd is becoming stronger 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 again like or if it becomes weaker also there will be an impact on commodity prices okay so and again geopolitical fact these commodities whatever the commodity the commodities especially a gold or like a bullion we say so these are very sensitive commodities it will move like anything there will be huge volatility geopolitical factor one of the ongoing crisis like a, that is russia and ukraine crisis so we face like a see like a russia and ukraine they are fighting but effect is on us also right so it might be like a oil that is a crude oil also and even cooking oil also even we have say, saw the like a I mean surge in price of cooking oil also right from like almost like a 150 rupees it crossed even 200 rupees also per liter cooking oil sunflower because again they are like a, one of the major producer of like a sunflower seed okay so it affected us a lot okay so similarly when it comes to trade policies and regulations also we should keep an uh, touch is like a, for example like a energy that is again crude okay opec what they are going to decide that is organization of petroleum exporting countries if they decide to do like a um in production cut or like a, they are produ producing more uh, crude oil extracting more crude oil if the news comes out again there is a like a effect will be there okay or if in india like uh, some import duty is cut or raised again there will be impact on commodity prices so we should keep an eye like on what is happening on these trade policies and regulation taxes quota and all so again there is a, a another factor that is an economic factor again so the economy is also it matters a lot it might be like a recession or inflation kind of a thing even in our neighboring countries also for example petrol in india it is costing 100 rupees but in our neighboring countries it is more than 100 rupees right okay so that is also like a, one of the reason economic factors also affect the commodity prices a lot and even trends in fast growing economies for example china is one of the major consumer of base metals okay if there is a continuous lockdown there will be no demand for base metals what happens on that time we can see that like uh, their prices might go down also so that's why like uh, uh, it is one of the important thing we should keep a track what is happening in fast growing economies also and and, you know another one thing is like a major events or a specific events also some of the events i just try to put it here so if you see on every day there is a some or the other event 
See, these are all the events are affecting those particular commodities. And if you observe on every Wednesdays, there is a you have crude oil inventories. And Thursdays, if you observe, there is a natural gas storage. There is a particular event will be there. Okay. What happens, for example, in crude oil inventories? So they predict. Okay. So what was the last week production? What is the like a forecast for this week? And what is the actual result? So let's say last week there was a hundred million barrels production was there, and this week we want like a one fifty million barrels of crude oil is required. That is a forecast, okay? And actual result came only one twenty million barrel of crude oil is produced. So what happens? There is a demand, okay? Shortage of supply now, okay? Prices might go up. Similarly, like a, if the production is a two hundred million barrels, so then there is an excess of supply. Prices again, it will impact. So this this also will like affect a commodity prices below. So we should keep a track like uh, what is happening like a commodity specific event. It's not only on crude oil or like uh, natural gas. Again, some like a uh, GDP data or US non-employment claims. All these things will affect us on this commodity prices. Okay, so these are November like a month event. If you want, you can take a screenshot also. And this is not only here. You can, if you want these specific events, uh, details and all. So or informations, you can go to m6india.com and you can uh, take these informations. Okay, so now these are all the like uh, there is like a huge factor impacting these commodity prices for corporates. It is very difficult, right? For example, a gold or like a base metal dealer, like if the prices are daily fluctuating like this, so to making a, like or like a doing a business is very difficult. So what to do? Okay, so that is a, one of the major question, right? So we cannot to eliminate the complete volatility, or we cannot eliminate this price risk. What we can do is we can mitigate or we can hedge okay so we can mitigate what is this like a hedging okay just taking a like a opposite position whatever the spot sales i have around for example let's say i'm a base metal dealer okay so whatever the in physical market what i have a sales order opposite to that if i take a position in futures market i can do an hedging okay i'll give you an example uh let's see okay in the month of september okay there is an example i'll take ramesh and suresh ramesh is a like a let's say like is a base metal dealer okay some and suresh come to comes to like a ramesh office and says like a bossy like a i want 50 metric tons of like a raw materials okay so he gives them 50 metric ton of raw materials order okay one metric ton is like a thousand kg one metric so 50 metric is like 50 thousand in a month of actually now the risk is for whom like a ramesh okay why suresh is like uh, making this condition he is a fear of like a what if tomorrow prices goes up so that is a like oh, one of the fear to uh, Suresh. Okay. But for Ramesh, again, like uh, he is making a deal today. Okay. So at 400 rupees per kg. And for Ramesh, now if like uh, he has to buy all these raw materials today, again, he is also like uh, facing the same risk. What if prices goes tomorrow like a uh, 430 rupees? Okay. So what to do? And buying this huge inventory, 50 metric ton of raw materials, buying this and keeping in this storage, again, it, uh, like, uh, it is the cost for it, right? So maintenance costs, damage, theft, all these things, cost and all is associated. Okay, so like uh, it is very difficult uh, for Ram Ram Ramesh also, right? So what Ramesh can do, like, uh, or what is the risk now if tomorrow, like, uh, prices goes to like uh, one rupee, if it goes up again, so there is a risk for Ramesh. And if goes down, yes. So it isn't happy for him. If like uh, tomorrow, if the prices comes to like a uh, 390 rupees, he'll buy 390 rupees and he'll give that product to Suresh at 400 rupees per kg. So, but what if prices goes up? That is a one risk, right, for Ramesh also. So what he can do is he can take an opposite position. So that is buy future, buying a futures. Okay. So let's say on 30th October, prices come down to like a 370 rupees per kg. Okay, now Ramesh, what he'll do? He'll go to market, okay, with his dealers. Okay, he'll buy 370 rupees. He's going to sell the 370 rupees product to Suresh at 400 rupees. He gained 30 rupees per kg in spot. 
however in future since he bought futures so there also in exchange the prices will come down right okay so now like a, he made a, like a, he lost 30 rupees per kg in futures but net result is neutral similarly wise was so another situation is what if price goes to 455 rupees per kg so in spot like what happens he bought at 455 rupees per kg ramesh is going to buy at 455 and he is giving that uh, like a raw materials at 400 rupees to suresh he is losing 55 rupees per kg okay so is a there is a loss but however in future since he bought futures here in exchange so the prices will be at 455 he'll gain 55 rupees okay in exchange like uh, in futures and he can adjust that in spot loss so again the net result will be a neutral by doing this what like a uh, what is the advantage so first thing like a uh, ramesh can like uh, he can ensure the better cash flow management and only can do so it is kind of a, like a uh, insurance right so why we, we buy insurance what if something happens tomorrow okay so again this similarly here also for ramesh okay so what if something like a uh, tomorrow if the prices goes up okay there is a risk associated right so similarly here also it is like an insurance okay and you can do better inventory management also instead of worrying like a, tomorrow like a what if prices goes up today only i'll buy and i'll keep it in my inventory so again that's a cost associated right so he can now by doing hedging he can do better inventory management right so and he can focus on his in the business okay instead of worrying what if so, uh, something happens tomorrow instead of what worrying on that part so he can focus on his business so these are all the like a uh, benefits uh by doing hedging with this like uh, what all the other advantages leverage is there that's one of the attractive proposition so what is leverage for example in sport market let's say like oh how much is required to buy one kg of gold so if i consider five thousand rupees per gram almost like a uh, 50 lakhs is required right okay so however in exchange on the nine to eleven percent margin center means for example around five lakhs if you have like uh, you can buy one kg of gold like uh, you can participate with that so that is the first advantage so and then followed by liquidity yes okay so there will be a question right okay sir like uh this is this sounds good like uh, i want to do hedging i'm uh, like uh, some gold uh, like a uh, jeweler like i want to do hedging i want to sell or buy so is there a buyer or seller is available in exchange yes liquidity is available there is a, enough liquidity is available in exchange okay you can take use of that one also and diversification also so we have seen right so i just did a one comparison so with nifty and gold so in the long we have seen that there is a negative correlation whenever the uh when nifty goes up there is a fall in like a gold prices and similarly vice versa so we can we can we want to know that there is a negative correlation when there is a negative correlation it is one of the best way to diversify portfolio right so that is an opportunity so on my portfolio so some investment like so, or some capital if i park in commodities so i can hedge my like a portfolio also okay so that is again one advantage and again inflation edge okay by investing in these commodities okay so i can do inflation hedge right so if commodity prices goes up so obviously in inflation also will rise so because of like a uh, inflation goes up here commodity prices so investing in these commodities will be like a inflation hedge and transparency okay so for transparency we do like a spot pooling also whatever it is there so and it will be like a, you can see on screen okay so what is a live price is going on yes you can watch that also and also manipulation chances is also very very low in commodities or technology and with this another one benefit is also is that that is timings also and like a capital market that is equities the timings is 9 to 3 to 3 30 right within commodities so from morning 9 to evening 11 30 market will be open okay and even decision up to 11 55 the markets will be open so hedges like uh, we cannot say for business people like our uh, corporates they might get order at even evening 7 pm also right so they'll be they they should have an option to hedge that position so that's why like a uh, market timing is like a uh, wide okay so and uh, with all these things mcx who we are okay so when we started our operation is we started our operation in uh, number 2003 okay 
so over a period even we have grown okay so we have launched recently we launched like a, a index futures also however like a, in uh, equities there is a bank nifty futures and all is there sectorial law uh, future similarly here also we launch index futures that is a bullion index futures uh, metal index futures and all we came up with that and recently we have signed a consultancy agreement with bangladesh the first commodity exchanges also we updated our softwares also with new version negative prices also we have updated so over a period we are also growing and who is our i mean if you ask me any regulator is there yes when we do have a regulator that is sebi okay before 2015 fmc was our regulator that is forward market commission was our regulator so after 2015 so sebi is regulating us okay so now if we see what all the commodities are available to trade when like oh there is a like a, almost SEBI has notified some like a 90 90 plus commodities they have identified okay already so with the very exchanges can launch these commodities out of that we have not launched all commodities only a limited commodities have been launched in exchange so that is like a nine plus four nine non-agri commodities and four agri commodities we have launched okay so let's see what all the commodities are available okay first thing precious metals or bullions we say okay this thing okay under the first gold will be there uh gold and silver are known as like a bullions okay first uh i mean if you see the analyzed volatility of this gold also except the two years in all other years it was like a two digits volatility is there and we have like a four variants here again so first is gold one kg gold mini is a hundred grams contract and gold guinea is a eight grams contract and gold petal is a one gram contract so if you have even like a, a 400 to 500 rupees also yes you can buy gold petal gold petal approximately like if you wish yes, you can buy so and gold petal is also deliverable that is one gram gold whatever i don't know so that is also uh deliverable okay and next there is a silver silver it's a like a 30 kg contract okay first is and next uh, silver mini is there that is a 5 kg contract and like a silver micro that is 1 kg contract. i'll just, just show you the uh contract specification also in next slide and if you see like uh, these are the like, some factors affected this commodity prices in the month of september so what is that like a uh, first thing the because of the us fed meeting again so we saw right trade policies okay so again us federal reserve interest rate again trade policies this affected this commodity prices if you see what are the things we discuss again the same thing is affecting this commodity prices here also see these are contract specification if you wish you can take a screenshot also as i told first is gold is that that is a one kg contract so one rupee plus or minus you'll get like a you gain 100 rupees uh plus or all you will lose like a 100 rupees okay and delivery logic you can see is all for all the contracts it's a compulsory delivery okay you should take compulsory delivery if you not like if you don't want to take delivery yes i'll explain you what to do okay that also okay so uh these are the delivery centers okay so if you want i told you right uh you can take delivery also or you can give delivery where i can go and take delivery so these are the delivery centers uh in bangalore also it's available in all major location wherever there is a demand so they we have over and there is a delivery center so you can go and take the delivery also and these are silver so like our silver delivery centers and there's a question will come right so like oh, sir how much delivery has happened already over a period of time so since inception like almost 127 metric tons of gold we have given okay through exchange it has been done okay so and like a uh, um if you come to like a silver it's a like a 4000 metric tons so and i told you like a gold petal right so gold petal when it comes to gold that is a one gram contract so almost like a till feb 2022 we have won 56800 coins okay the two started from 2019 so with this i can say gold petal is also has become a very successful product. so we indians are like uh we save in gold right so everyone what we can do so we can buy one, one gram gold yes we can do like that also okay so next our uh, segment is base metals right so that is uh, like uh, we have a uh, aluminium copper lead nickel and zinc okay so when it comes to like uh, whichever the base metal you take so for example copper okay what comes to your mind like a uh, where we use the copper so immediately it will come to wiring so other than this like a uh, way which sector we use this a uh, copper copper prices 
by doing transportation or any other thing right so i can say what i can say is like uh, this copper prices is not limited to one sector the price is uh, associated with two other sectors also the risk is associated to other sectors also if you take anything any like a base metals for example aluminium uh, transportation sectors will be affected electrical construction machinery so all these sectors require aluminium similarly lead out of whatever the production happens 80 percent goes to battery sector only okay so lead whatever the prices changes and lead prices it is going to affect battery uh, companies also for example in equities also it is listed right so in india like one of the producer of batteries gravita india is that again uh, battery related companies there is a, like amar raja batteries is there or excite industry is there so prices if something like a huge volatility is happening in batteries uh prices mean there's a lead prices so it might affect right so there will be a like effort so it is very important that like uh, we should track what is happening in these base metals also and we also should uh, keep a track who is a major producer of what okay if you see aluminium lead and zinc china is one of the major producers suppose if something happens in china a continuous lockdown or something if they enter into war, the prices of these base metals will affect a lot okay similarly like a copper okay copper like a major producer is a chili again so chili. and nickel okay indonesia and you know another one imp important thing is in nickel we in india there is no with no production whatever the nickel is they're completely importing only okay suppose if you see this slide you will get to know right so nickel there is a zero production you are not a producer of nickel okay and key related like a uh, companies are uh, key domestic producer for example aluminium this thing vedanta is uh, like aluminium producer hindalco these are all the companies we have heard right okay most of the investors like uh, will be aware of these companies okay if something happens to these base metals indirectly it might affect these companies also so that's why it is very important to know what is happening in commodities and all and if you see what are the factors again impacted these commodity uh, base metals also like a uh, see production so we saw right so there is a demand and supply of commodity specific events so again that got affected weak demand again so this one if you see the zinc prices again weak demand so that also got affected and if you see the copper prices here you can see the supply worries okay so that is in uh, chile okay so when i told you right chile is one of the major producer of what copper so because of that like a uh, supply worries prices got surge here and strong demand like you can see uh in the nickel prices so again it got right this thing and there was a like a uh, um, in global recession like uh, that fears a lot so because of that was uh, again there was a uh, like a uh, price fall in copper also in the month of uh, uh, september okay so these are the some events again it affected base metals okay so coming to contract specifications base metals aluminium lead and zinc the contract are like a lot size is five metric ton okay means five thousand kg so one rupee movement in these like a uh, base metals will get will be lead to like a five thousand rupees plus or loss okay and copper is 2.5 metric ton and nickel 1.5 metric ton or 1500 kg so one rupee movement in nickel will lead to will lead to like a 1500 rupees plus or minus and this also delivery logic is compulsory it means like a, you can take delivery or you can give delivery okay so delivery centers of base metals yes these are the, the primary delivery centers was like a raipur Tane, chennai and all so and then we opened additional delivery centers and again recently opened even additional delivery centers because of physical participants demand wherever there is a physical participants demand is there yes we have opened like uh, these uh, delivery centers okay so and next uh, segment is energy under energy so we know this that there is a crude oil and natural gas okay so again this price is also like uh, it is not exposed to only particular industry for example crude oil the price uh, uh, price risk is associated to the glass industry or paint industry so even for paint a crude oil is required so again related companies are the Asian paints are there or Berger paints, indigo paints are listed in equity market metal industries are there airline companies also uh if there is a surge in crude oil prices again airline companies has to like uh, they they and uh, they might hike their like a uh, ticket prices and all right uh airfares and all so again it affects a lot 
so these are the like uh, some figures like uh, for the major producers consumers uh, exporters and all so if you can see like uh, and a uh, consumption like a uh, yes we are here okay so india is one of the major uh, consumer consumer and even importer also so we are one of the major importer also and some factors if you see yes again demand and supply demand worries because in china we have heard right like uh, there is a lockdown in some parts of china so again because of that we have seen like a uh, prices fall in like a uh, china I mean crude oil and again natural gas like a uh, prices got uh, I mean hike because of like a uh, I mean uh, forecast and like a higher winter like other things so that's why like uh, again uh, prices got surge in natural gas and all and if you see the contract specification yes we measure gold and like a base metal we measured in kgs uh when it comes to like a crude oil we cannot measure in like a kgs 100 kg crude oil or like a 5 kg crude oil nothing like that. so we have to measure in barrels right so how many liters will be there in bar barrel so yeah, anyone have any idea so 159 liters so 159 liters will be there in one barrel and the lot size is 100 barrels so one rupee change in crude oil so will lead to like 100 rupees plus or minus and natural gas we measure in mmbtu that is metric million british thermal units and one lot size is 1250 so one rupee plus or minus will give like a thousand two hundred and fifty rupees plus or minus one rupee and here delivery logic is cash it is not deliverable crude oil or natural gas it is not deliverable so the main the broad thing is like if you see the annualized volatility it is in two digits okay so if you see any here like other it is a huge volatile it's a sensitive commodity okay so a final like this thing is agri products so as of now only four agri products is traded one is cotton menthol and kapas and rubber so cotton uh so we say in a bale okay we know bale like there's a 170 kgs of cotton is called one bale okay and the lot size is 25 bales okay so these are the things and even cotton is also a deliverable menthol or even rubber is also deliverable okay so i told you right you can take delivery you can take delivery so what is the process sir? so there's i1 we saw in the slides where the delivery logic is compulsory delivery so if you ask me sir like uh if i buy out i don't want to take delivery so just like a uh, can i participate yes you can okay so what is the like a uh, thing uh, what have to do I mean like uh, you have i mean you have to exit before like uh, this tender period what is tender period last five days of the contract is known as tender period or staggered period if you're not wishing to take delivery you should exit your position before this tender period okay so that's it and if you wish to take delivery so then with this trading account okay so you have to open another one account that is commerce account what is commerce again commodity receipt information system you should have an account in commerce okay and you have to if you are wishing to take delivery you should enter into this tender period okay last five days is there no that is a every day there will be a five percent incremental margin will be there okay you should maintain that margin on expiry day we fix the settlement price okay fsp that is fixation of settlement price will be there final settlement price will be there so then uh you have to give an intimation to your member member will inform us are like one of our like a client is wishing to take delivery so then we like uh, see wherever the wherever that delivery is available we inform you so in which warehouse here like a requested commodity is there you can go to that uh, warehouse and you can take delivery so this for buyer or for or seller again bit different process again you should have a com uh, commerce account so through that like a uh, uh, i mean you have to give one request suppose if you are a like a, a base metal dealer and you you wish to give delivery then first you have should have a commerce account so then you have to give an intimation that i'm going to deposit so and so like a base metal like a raw materials in this warehouse then you go to that warehouse deposit your goods so then there will be a quality inspection okay so the testing will be there once the quality testing is passed so then we accept the delivery and we give you that ewr that is electronic warehouse receipt okay with this you can give delivery okay this is the like a process for like a, how you can take delivery or you can give delivery okay so and if you wish to participate in commodity exchange so you should choose one member broker fulfill the basic kyc basic documents you can give and you can open a uh, trading account 
and uh, just give a like a uh, one initial margin for each commodities different different margin will be there for example gold i told you gold 1 kg file access required or silver micro that is 1 kg is there so somewhere around like a uh, 7 to uh, 7000 7500 is required just know yourself what is the margin requirement is there so deposit that margin read some like uh, exchange rules are there like uh, and just get to know that one and select the commodities which commodity is suitable to you because like uh, for some investors like a uh, gold is suitable for some investors like a uh, probably like uh, energy like or uh, that is crude oil might be it suits them okay and read some do's and don'ts also when i say i said i told you right like a uh, choose one member broker that you have to verify that member is registered or not okay because in market there are a lot of unregistered members out there okay so you should be very careful whenever there is a like a call or whenever you choose a member or a men like a brokers okay just visit to our exchange website or sebi website just go through that and whether just check it like a, whether they are registered or not and so like a kyc please keep updated if there is any changes in that your kyc is and all and one is one main important thing is update your mobile number like a, whenever there's a change in mobile number or email id please inform your like a member okay and tell them to update the same because any changes in your account margin shortage or anything so they try to reach you uh, like a, a mobile or email so that is why very it is very important it's very important uh to you is like uh, you should uh, get it updated and insist a client code also it should be unique for each and every account it should be different for each and every one so that's why you just make sure that you got like a, a unique client code and you take time okay please take some time and read the risk disclosures and all okay there's no need to be worried that tomorrow exchange will close no even in covid time situation also we didn't close exchanges it was uh, operated okay so that's why take time read like all the disclosure documents and all so know what is happening and some don'ts yes so we in market there's a lot of people are there who in present like a promising the returns sir we give you 100 percent return 50 percent return daily returns please like uh, don't be influenced with those things and all there is no guaranteed return in market you take like capital market or these things and all there is no guaranteed okay so you have to do your own research and there is a like in market there's a hot tips especially in whatsapp or telegrams and all so on expiry days we hear like a hero zero calls and all so please don't believe that and all do your own research every information is available on your mouse step okay so just like a, do your own research and all and next thing is do not make any cash payments there is no cash payments and all <laughs> sorry everything is online okay and also like some people will sign on blank dps and all. please don't do that it's like a kind of a signing a blank check okay please don't do that and also pay attention to your like a brokerage or other charges whether it is charged correctly or not you just you will get a contract notes right so after your trade is initiated like a within a, a stipulated time like a, you receive some contract notes and all so you just check go through that what is the charges and all is there okay so those are the same some things you should uh, follow okay and who is a who is a responsible investors yes one who's tracking the physical markets which i told you right so we discuss so who is a major producer of what for example aluminium china is there copper chile is there okay so we should keep a track what is happening in the physical market especially when it comes to commodity market okay and we should track the economy a global also as well as local economy also okay you should keep a track what is happening in that and some like a financial limits like a, for example how well like a five lakhs of investment i buy one kg of oil no so instead of that like uh, i can buy just 100 grams of gold right so that will be a better okay so just like a fifty thousand margin is enough okay so what if something goes wrong like uh, i'll be having sufficient margin to maintain my mtm so that's why it is very important that knowing our financial limits also and some people will bet on market so that is like a very wrong decision so people say like a today gold has to go up sir like in india like a, there's a the festivals are going on so price chances are like a, i mean uh, prices might go up so things are there like a, please don't bear, don't do that one now okay and over trading okay so like a uh, first trade i like i made a loss second uh, trade i'll make a profit no please don't do that one all 
okay and some people will say like oh i mean i have given my account to my uh, very best friend or like my advisor is going to take care so please don't do that you track your position what is happening in your account okay or some people like when they enter they see some laws and they don't want to see the their positions so they'll just leave it please don't do that okay continuously track your position what is happening okay so these are some things you should uh, follow and if you have any disputes yes you can raise it till exchange level also okay so you can discuss the first with your member if the things are not like a result yes you can raise the disputes uh, till exchange also so we have located in all major locations we are located you can visit your office also yes we can come to our office and you can register your complaints yes no like a you can register your complaints even in online also okay yes that is also possible okay so and if you wish to more, know more about these commodities yes in youtube we have uploaded a lot of like uh videos or uh, short videos are available yes you can go through that also so these are the things for today's like our uh, topic so if you have any questions yes uh you can put the same in chat box please <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Ranjan Kumar. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. For the uh, enlightening uh, seminar today. Yes. <clears throat> so, if uh, there are any questions, then you can leave your uh, question in the chat box. So, there is one question that I see in the chat box, and okay. that is um, so, uh, can we, uh, you know, trade in the commodities market uh, using the DMAT account that we have? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, you can. So only thing that segment should be activated. Okay. If it is not activated, you should give one request. So then yes, then they will uh, activate the commodity segment and then you can participate. Okay. Yeah. So are the, uh, you know, charges, uh, basically the brokerages yes. uh, more uh, in the uh, commodities markets when compared to the equity markets no no <laughs> it's not like that okay again it depends like a member to member like a they charge it it can be customized suppose if you okay. just make a negotiation yes member will uh, reduce the brokerage and all similarly how an equities is there so here also nowadays people are giving per order or like on turnover so they do it so based on your like uh, comfortness you can choose that method. So, now, in the equity markets, we also have um, algo trading and, uh, you know, high frequency trading. Yes. Now, is that's not applicable here? Uh, is my understanding correct? No, here also algos are there. Here also algo trading will happen. High okay. frequency trading, everything is here, here, here also. There are a lot of I mean, speculators are there. Like, uh, I mean, yes, it's there. algo trading is available in commodities also. Okay. Okay. So, uh, how how frequently um, is the you know prices changing here? Uh, is the uh, volatility very high uh, yes, in the commodities markets? Very high, very high, ma'am. Very oh. high. So daily, I mean, if if I come to like, I can say it's like an equity, like a, in very rare uh, scenarios, we see more than two percent or three percent like a volatility in Nifty, for example, in the very rare situation. But when it comes to like a commodities, daily minimum two percent, like a, I can say two percent is also will be there. Daily two percent. So I in one of the slides we saw like a crude and like a, an NG though like a, in some months like a, on the ADT like a, that is a, uh, average daily like a volatility was almost like a five or four point nine percent was there in some months. Okay. So it will be there. huge volatile because since this commodities are like a different like it's a global around the corner around the globe whatever happens like a, there will be an impact on these commodity prices. So uh, commodities are very sensitive, especially as gold or like a uh, uh, crude and NG and all. So huge volatile we can expect. Okay. okay. Yeah. Are there uh, any more questions? I think uh, there are none as of now. I will just check. Yeah. Is there any age limit to register on MCX portal? Yes. Eighteen now? years. Eighteen years. Eighteen, 18 years. years. Okay. Yes. yes. Right. Yes, 
Yes, so they should have a pan pan card as a how like or trading and demand account if you want to open so how the pan card or other card is required similarly here also okay so any other question um none as of now okay thank you so much uh, mr ranjan kumar for uh, giving us so much information about uh, how commodity markets are you know many of us are uh, you know delving into the equity markets only and we don't deal with commodity markets so much yes. Yes. so it was an eye opener for all of us yeah thank you thank you thanks a lot for giving me an opportunity <laughs> okay so we'll thank do you. it okay sure.